Hello and welcome, this is Moose2006, and we are back once again with our farm. We will go ahead and get started on this barley, see if we can finish up this field today. Let's get this tractor and tipper out of the way, and we'll come check on it shortly. Alright. Let's get back to this. Um, I do want to make a quick apology. Um, last time I gave a different YouTuber credit for the uh, suggestion to cut down these trees. It was actually Hayden Cole, so I apologize, Hayden. Connor is a frequent commenter um, who gives a lot of great advice and tips. Um, this one, however, does belong to Hayden, so that will teach me to try to do things from memory. I just need to write things down. So, alright. Let's move on and get this tree. I think I'm going to have to cut I don't want to cut it in half. I think it'd be better to try to just cut off a little more up top. So we'll do like right there. It needs to be as straight as possible, right? We'll try that. Hopefully we'll be able to pick it up after we chop this top off. Give it another go. doesn't seem to want to pick up yet. Wow. That is a very large tree. Um, yeah, we're kind of to the point where I just want it to be finished. Um, I'm still wondering if it's like stuck on that. Hmm. I mean, it's definitely glitching out. It's, I mean, just look at it. <laughs> that is, uh, unusual for a tree to be doing that, I think. I guess I've never actually chopped down a tree in real life. Um, wow. I'm gonna... Uh, hmm. Well, let's see if I can... Oh, get that. Okay. We're gonna approach this from the other side and see if that does anything that affects anything. I'm going to try to just run into it now. Huh. There's a lot of these like little little limbs and branches. I'm wondering if they're somehow like that. Why is that? If they're somehow like glitching it or bugging it or if I'm just or if it's still just too heavy. It seems to be smaller than the one I took earlier, which is my like main concern. Okay, let's try this from this way. See if anything changes. Um, I'm getting stuck. I'm getting stuck s on something. Well, we got it kind of out of the way of the tree. Maybe now it can be picked up. Nope. Whoa. Okay, now, now this is all just pretty terrible driving. I'll take the blame for that. Um, okay. Close the thing. Yeah, okay. So it was, like, glitched. I mean... And now I think I'm stuck on this limb here. Ugh. These little limbs are just obnoxious. Arr okay. We did it. I think. Great, drive. Ugh. All right. Yeah, we probably could have picked it up sooner if we had knocked it out of the way sooner. Um, it was definitely a little glitchy, but that's okay. We got it. Let's see how much money we got. Uh, okay. Uh, I need to just lower it. 26,000. Whoa. Wow. That That's wonderful. Um... So we have, okay, that's fine. I'm going to borrow some and put another light in. Someone said that I should put one over here, and I think that's a swell plan, except I can't. Oh, there, what? Hmm. Hmm. 
under. Okay, I can put them here. I can put them in the biogas plants. Let's see if now I can. Where? Okay, where can I first? Darn it! Well, I don't think we're going to be able to get a light. We can get one over here. If I can at least get one near like where I might plant a lot of trees, like maybe I'll plant a bunch of trees um, like lined right here. So maybe a floodlight right here. Cause I'll chop these down and these. So maybe one right. Actually, I'll do all these. Let's put one right here. And it also just looks nice. Okay. So now we at least have a place to go when we want to um, continue our forestry. We'll go over there. Right now, I um, wonder if I should bother s trying to sell any of these or if I should just use all these in the wood chipper. I do also need to get the tractor and get the stump removal tool. Yeah, I think we'll just save all these for the wood chipper. Uh, let's check on our wool. I know that was close to being done. We can probably start driving over there. Let's check on this. I have 48 grass for some reason that I guess I forgot to... that it just didn't quite drop off. So... Um, I'll just dump it in the feed and then we'll check our harvester and probably need to unload that. Then we can maybe start picking up the straw on the ground so that we can sell and see if we can get like a little bit extra money from that. So empty that out. Yep, let's do this. I don't think I'll windrow at first. I think... Well, where is it? Where's our windrow at? That'll also make a difference. It's way over there. Yeah, I'll, I'll go pick it up. It'll probably be worth doing some passes. Alright, let's see if I can add some... People say I should just try to back this up. The, the thing about backing it up is that. That's why I haven't done it. Because it just doesn't really work very well. Um, so I think I'll just continue to go with this. Uh, method. Oh. Oop. Okay. Did not. Did not see that last time. So I'll empty this. Slows down a little bit, but that's okay. Um, yeah, not a big deal. I can't remember how much we needed for the mission, but I know it was way more than this. So I'll just go ahead and empty it here first, so I can keep harvesting. And then we'll worry about taking it all into the terrain station. That'll also get us money, and I think we'll be sitting uh, pretty good on maybe investing in a bigger and better tractor. So we'll dump this quick. Alright, let's get back to the combine. We have a nice large shed there for all this equipment we don't have. Looks nice though. Okay. So... We'll let that begin and we'll start driving this. Yeah, let's go do the wool first. Uh, we'll start driving. Uh, this will take a while because this thing's kind of slow. Where's the... Sh yeah, they're way... Way on the other side of the, uh, side of the map. Um, let's start the harvester up, and then I will speed it up and get our front loader over to our sheep. Ooh, nice timing. I had just finished. There we go. Start it up. And I will drive this over to our sheep so we can get our pa our first pallet of wool.
Okay, so yes, I, I realize I probably should have left my logging fork over by the logging industry that is taking place. However, I did not, so I will have to... Uh-oh. I'll find a way to remedy that situation. Um, in the meantime, I did just get stuck on the cement, I guess. Woo! Uh-oh. Uh, we'll, we'll get it. Oh, goodness. Oh, okay. Look at that. Expert driving. Alright, I was afraid I was going to have to reset, but that was um, really lucky, actually, is, is what that was. So let's go ahead and lower this fork properly this time. And that uh, sounds about right. That looks about right. Okay. Um, luckily, our wool selling point is the diner, I believe. Um, so we're going to go take a quick, quick trip to the diner and sell this and see if we get some money. Well, see how much money we get. I know we'll get some. Here we go. I'm going to go check on the harvester quick. You can see the farm in the distance. It's kind of neat. wanted to just uh, stop and point that out real fast. And we'll go ahead and empty this because it fills up so quickly because it's so tiny but has such a large header, which is wonderful. Um, yeah, so let's empty it quick and then we'll continue our trip to the diner with our wool. Might be able to just, yeah, back this up without... There, that's much better. Nope. Maybe. Okay. We can probably drive a little bit further while that empties. Not much, because it's 4,000 doesn't take too long to to empty into the tipper. Um, I'm keeping my eyes out for like a really good spot forest tree to uh, deforest, I guess. Um, haven't found anything too uh, great, I guess. But here we go. 4,800, maybe? Ish? What? Ten. We just made ten thousand. I've never made ten thousand on one. I, nice. I have no idea how that works, but I'm extremely pleased that it just did. Let's start this up. We are raking in the cash. We'll get this tractor out of the way before I completely forget that I should do that. And then we should probably... Um, I can probably leave this and focus on this. So let's take this loader. And I think I'll pick up the weight just because um, it should make us go a little faster. I just need to do a little circle. And... Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All that was just a... Uh... Okay, my tractor might do flips. Well, if I can even... There we go. I don't know. That's still not... Okay, so maybe I will leave... Oh. Was this worth it? No, that that's the answer. It was not worth it. Uh... It is not worth it. I'm... And now this is at a terrible angle. You know what? We're going to forget the weight and just pretend that it doesn't even affect anything. And I think we'll be fine. So... One more, one more try. I know it's like not sitting correctly, but it's so hard to... Eh, whatever. We don't need it. Nice bucket. And our tether is... Not our tether. Our wind rower is... Straight north. Oh, well, there's our lights. I can see the floodlights. That's they look nice. I mean, they look really nice. Um, I'm really glad I put them in 
also just for the aesthetic, like, they look cool. Uh, our windrower should be this way, with that nice line of poplars over there, like that. I definitely will never cut any of those down. I uh, can't tell if the harvester, yep, the harvester is already in need of the tipper. Until he gets turned around and started on this second row here. I'll sit with the worker for a little while and then fire him. Disconnect! Empty the, this guy once again. A lot of emptying. Um, so what the next harvester that we probably want to go for is so this is 6400 14 maybe one of these yeah it's a ways away we'll be stuck with this one for quite a while that's all right looks like in just a couple more passes we'll be done with the field then we can plant maybe uh more canola since I sort of messed that up last time pretty pretty significantly all right where's the tractor we'll set the loading wagon there since I'm gonna need it and we'll go get the wind rower Hopefully it'll be worth actually going to retrieve and windrowing. I think we can probably get the rows down to like half the amount of uh, what they are now, but I'm not quite used to this windrower. I'm usually I usually go straight for the the large like the largest one, which is massive. So I'm still getting used to this one, even though it still covers quite a good amount of ground. All right, so let's get all the way over to our field. I'm not going to point out the fact that I'm moving pretty slowly due to the fact that I don't have that weight on the front. Oh, there we go. It was just kind of a slow acceleration, but yeah, I'm not going to mention that though. Of course. All right, let's unfold and windrow. Windrow some rows. We'll... Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Alright, so right down the middle, turn it on, lower it, and see if this... Ooh, it's close, but yeah, this will work nicely, as long as I don't mess it up and go outside the, outside the lines, if you will. Okay, so I'm going to work on just windrowing for a bit.
You know, I've been farming for a while, just wanted to take a quick second to say hi. And, uh, here we go. We'll just keep farming. Okay, so we got quite a bit windrowed. Um, there'll be maybe one more pass through um, over there once the harvester's finished with the field. Uh, so I figure right now we'll get the loading wagon and start loading, loading it up, kind of seeing how long it takes to fill it up. And then I think we'll just go ahead and sell it this episode. Hopefully it's not running too long. It's, it's hard to tell. Uh, it's hard to judge the length of the episode when I do a lot of uh, like farming that I'll be speeding up. So hopefully this episode doesn't run too long for you. Um, but I, th I think it'll be good to at least get one load sold just so we can kind of see uh, what kind of profit we can expect. So I'll go ahead and do, uh, let's see, I think maybe one or two lines we'll get a full loading wagon here. Wow, look at that. Not even one... So basically that was two rows um, combined. Uh, and not even... and not even like a full row filled up our wagon, which is really great. So we have at least what, one, two, three, four, five, maybe six... at least six more loads to sell. So let's see how much a Full wagon sells for. I've I've never really uh, have I've never really sold straw in this capacity. I always use it for um, my cows, but I think they're fine. Straw, yeah. So let's go ahead and see what we can make. Also, with our last patch, um, I had someone mention, well, how it like tells me how much I profit in the top right. That was from the last patch. And they finally added a symbol for where you can sell straw uh, on the map, which is that little ho-ho uh, looking thing. Looks like a bale of straw. So. Or ho-hos, if you're prone to enjoy ho-hos, which, man, they're good. Alright, let's back it up. Should be able to sell it. There we go. 21,300 units sells for... Sells for thirty-three hundred dollars. So if we had, so we'll make. Wow, we'll make about eighteen to twenty thousand dollars just picking up and selling the straw. That's really great. Um, I don't know why I've never really done that. I'm glad I'm doing it now. So next time we will definitely finish the field. We'll definitely pick up all the straw that's on there and sell it. And then we can get our probably canola um, started to be cult We can start cultivating and sowing our canola. There we go. That's a better way to say that. And we can start taking our barley into the train station and see if we can complete the, the mission. Because right now we have... Well... Oh, we might not be able to quite finish it. We'll see. If not, maybe we'll just do another field of barley. Anyway, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have yourselves a very nice day.